I'm a supervisory research agronomist with USDA Agricultural Research Service in Lincoln, Nebraska. I've been with ARS for 18 years. I love working for ARS. It's a great place to be. It's really nice to be able to focus on a research mission. The primary research we do deals with perennial warm season grasses, specifically those that were native to North America. We work primarily with big blue stem, Indian grass, and switchgrass. We work with them for biomass energy, but also for forage for livestock and for conservation purposes as well. There are several characteristics that make switchgrass really a good biofuel candidate. One, it's agronomically productive. It's a really high yielding perennial. So we plant it one time and you can manage it really in perpetuity if you do a good job managing it. It's one of those native warm season grasses that's fairly easy to establish. It's got a very nice smooth seed coat which allows it to flow through our drills and we've just done a lot of work with it since about 1935 so we're very familiar with switchgrass. I'm standing on the edge of a field of Liberty switchgrass and Liberty switchgrass we released in 2013 as the first biomass energy switchgrass type for the central and eastern Great Plains. We saw about a 40% increase in yield, and it's a really productive type in some of our small plot trials, up to eight tons of biomass per acre. One of the things that's important for us to do is to quantify the compositional characteristics of the individual plant material. So what we would do is we would take this entire plant and grind it, and then we can scan it on our near-infrared spectrophotometer. Because of some of the work we've done to develop NIRS calibrations, we can also now predict ethanol potential within the plant. So we can actually come in, take a sample of this, and do a very nice job of predicting potential ethanol yield on a per acre basis from a plant material. One of the things that we see on the horizon is using switchgrass for producing transportation fuels. That would give farmers another way to use switchgrass, not only for grazing or wildlife, but also for bioenergy. Its energy inputs are very low compared to products like corn and soybeans. From an ethanol perspective, it has a, a very high ethanol production potential. We can produce about 80 gallons of ethanol per ton of switchgrass, which makes it very cost competitive. We're doing quite a bit of research also with the Department of Energy and trying to give them some of the information that they need to demonstrate how productive switchgrass is at the field scale. 